Yeah, what the what? I did not realize that that was on. Okay, alright, whatever. Hello, guys. Um, I'm Dash and I. Yeah, I just before we get started with the third episode of Yu-Gi-Oh: The Force of Light, which I'm very happy to present, we had a little bit of issues in it. So there were some parts where I recorded Clayton's voice and recorded Clayton. Uh, there were some parts that are cut out, just like as always. So I apologize, Clayton. I I apologize. There. Yeah. No, I. There. I apologize. And uh, let's see. I. In the second episode, there was the some of the parts blinking black. That happened in this episode as well. Which I don't know why. It's probably because there's so much storage. It just can't take it all, and it's having glitches. And uh, what else is there? I uh, um you might want to turn out your volume in the episode just in case because there could be some parts that are really loud because of quality content I'm pretty sure I don't know maybe quality might be bad as well so that's what I want to be sure so and there might be some parts where like I kind of messed up on the, uh, like there was one part where, uh, Clayton summons Blue Eyes White Dragon with Kyber Man, and then Kyber Man appears again. That's another editing problem, so, uh, I apologize for that. But I hope you guys enjoy this third episode that we are glad to present, and I'll see you in the fourth episode, hopefully, if we can make it. We definitely will, but hopefully we can make it even better than this one. We'll see you later. <laughs> I've seen these, but I never thought they were real. Wait, what? What the what? Ah! What? Where am I? Hello? Is anybody in here? Where uh... you can come in. Indeed, I am Yami Clayton. Wait, so that means... And I have been waiting years for you to find me. Years? Oh, sorry. Glenn? Your friend is calling you. Okay, see you later. What? Oh. Good. Oh. I found your shirt. Yeah, 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 I got something amazing to show you. Look at these. Oh, what are those? My three new Egyptian God cards. I got Obelisk the Tormentor, the Winged Dragon of Ra, and the card that I've always wanted my whole life, Slifer the Sky Dragon. Wow, well, those are pretty awesome. Those things are just fake and you know it. You. <laughs> Who are you? Weevil Underwood, the regional champion, plus a little stick bug. And a better duel than you will ever be. Whoever said you can talk? I don't want to kill somebody like that. <laughs> I knew you were too scared to face me. You know what? Yeah, Clayton actually was dueling. Let's teach this little nerd to pay the punishment. <laughs> Two jumps to get the champ. Two champion duelists, right? Rex Raptor. Really, Rex? Besides, I'm in a mood for a duel right now. Let's, Let's duel. duel! Here, Dash. Thank you. We'll go first. I summit Binge Hopper. Then I activate multiplication of ants. It attributes my insect to summon many insects. And then I activate Pinch Hopper's effect to summon Insect Queen. And then Insect Queen gains 200 more attack for each insect on my side of the field. No way, can he do that? He sure can, and I'll do this. I summon Galasaurus, which I can special summon. So I summon another. So then I sacrifice those two 
to summon Ultimate Tyranno! Your turn! Draw! I summon Legion of Fame Jester. And I can sacrifice it to summon a spellcaster the turn I summon it. So, I sacrifice my Legion of Fame Jester. There is nothing that you can summon that will defeat us. You shall see. I summon the Dark Magician student. Dark Magician girl. <laughs> she only has 2,000 attack. True, but you don't want to underestimate the Dark Magician girl. When I activate Sage of Stone, which I, if Dark Magician Girl is on my side of the field, I get special summon Dark Magician. What's the point? Our monsters still have more attack. Not unless if I activate Magic Formula, which I will equip it to my Dark Magician. Now it has 3,200 attack. <sighs> I'm sorry to rush you, but are you done yet? Sorry, but no. When I activate Thousand Knives, which I can target your tyrant, ultimate tyranno. Alright, Clayton, your move. I summon my blue flame sword I equip my blue flame swordsman with Salamandra, which gains it to 2,300. Two Dark magician, dark magic attack. Dark magician girl, dark burning attack. Blue Flame Swordsman, Flyer Slash! I set a monster face down. I draw. I summon my Time Wizard. I call a coin flip. If I call it right, it destroys all monsters you control. No! We could have won right there! Don't worry, Clay, it's not over yet. I summon Chocolate Magician Girl. I can discard one spellcaster and then draw one card. You waste your turn on a piece of candy? I summon Gelasaurus and then I sacrifice my two monsters to summon Superconductor Tyranno. Weevil, you know what to do. Alright, I summon Pinchopper. And then I'll activate Superconductor Tyranno's effect to tribute his pin chopper to inflict 3,000 damage to you! Oh, how dare you hurt him like that! And you already know what pin chopper does. So, I activate pin chopper's effect to summon Insect Princess! Now, Insect Princess, attack! This will be taking candy from a dumb baby. What the? It's still there! Indeed. Chocolate Magician Girl can negate the attack and then special summon a spellcaster from the graveyard. What's the point? My dinosaur still has more attack. Indeed. But Chocolate Magician Girl can also reduce half the attack of your dinosaur. What? No way! This is now finished. I summon Kaiba Man and sacrifice him to summon Blue Eyes White Dragon! I activate Magician Circle, which me and Clayton can both special summon a Dark Magician Girl. And then, I activate Dark Burning Magic, which will destroy everything you both control. Blue Eyes White Dragon! White Lightning! Dark Magician! Dark Magic Attack! <laughs> Even insects can be extinct. Dash, look! Whoa. Uh. What? They just disappeared out of the cards. Then this means...